We are following a developing story out of Escondido tonight. City leaders are proving a water rate increase that will begin on January 1st with rate hikes every year for five years. Our Kasia Gorgorchik spoke with residents pushing back against that double digit increase and she joins us live with both sides of this debate. Kasia. Hey, good evening, Kathleen. And tonight, city council and staff from the utilities department were able to settle on rate increases that were not quite as high as residents were expecting. Still significant nonetheless compared to previous increases. It is by far the highest hike proposed over the past 12 years. It's not doable in this society. Escondido residents have been bracing themselves for the potential of a nearly 20% water rate increase in 2024 alone, with several increases to follow. Grappling with escalating grocery prices, soaring gas costs, elevated electricity bills, and soon to be higher water rates. Where is the empathy? Where is the compassion? The city's utilities department had proposed the steep increases to maintain the city's water infrastructure and to pay for more imported water. But even council members found the rates challenging to accept. It hurts us just like it hurts you. Ultimately, somewhat lower rate increases were presented Wednesday evening in a five year plan that still kept the city's utilities department in good financial standing. We know that if we lower them any more in the long run, it, it costs the city more and it's detrimental. Council voting to approve those increases. Here's how they break down. An 8% water rate increase effective January 1st, 2024, followed by a 7.5% increase in 2025 and 2026. Then a 6.5% increase in January 2027 and 2028. Now to wastewater and recycled water rates. An increase of 3.5% will begin January 1st, 2024, followed by a 5% increase later in the year in July. Then in July 2025, a 5% increase kicks in, 4% in 2026, and 3% in 2027. And council voted to approve these increases in a four to one vote. The mayor being the only person to vote no this evening. Reporting live in Escondido, Kasia Grigorczyk, Fox 5 News.